Hey guys, this is Wanda the Traveling Dutchie coming right at you from beautiful Costa Rica with some breaking news because this weekend the Costa Rica court actually ruled against the plans of the Costa Rica government to mandate the vaccine by requiring a QR code when entering so-called non-essential businesses. Basically all businesses except hospitals, pharmacies, uh, and grocery stores. You see the tour sector and some prominent politicians here in Costa Rica, they were against the, the mandate and they filed an injunction to protest against the proposed plans of the government's QR code or vaccine mandate. The government wanted to start their plan December 1st. This was going to be the start of this transition period where non-essential businesses could choose between two modules. Module one was they could open up their business 100% capacity if they only allowed people with the QR code, meaning that they were vaccinated. Or model two, they could allow people that were not vaccinated, but then they could only operate at 50% capacity. Then starting January 8th, everybody needed to show everybody from 12 and older needed to show the QR code to enter non-essential businesses. Making Costa Rica the first country in the world to mandate the vaccine for the age group 12 to 17. They did roll that back though, but now it doesn't matter anymore because the court basically stopped them. And by stopped, I mean, uh, it's probably just a situation where everything just gets prolonged but right now the court basically told the government to stop all the preparations for putting the plan of the mandatory qr code in place until they can prove its effect effectiveness usefulness how it affects job laws and the hit to the tourism industry so that's why i say it's probably all like <laughs> prolonged for now it stops but like i'm sure the government is gonna go get this information and try to find a way to make this happen but at least at least the kustrika tourism industry the high season won't be affected and we haven't heard from the government yet this happened friday night i guess you know they don't work during the week i'm not really sure they haven't made a public statement and uh, like a response to this news so we'll have to wait and see what happens as always i will make sure to uh, to keep you up to date because obviously this is all very important news but the important thing is that for now if you're not vaccinated and you want to travel to kushika you can um you need to fill out an online health pass that becomes available to you within 72 hours prior to your flight not before you need to fill out some basic questions and um because you're not vaccinated they mandate you to purchase travel insurance not just any travel insurance it needs to meet the, the kushika government's requirements but not to worry <laughs> I'm a co-owner of a travel company, so I have a lot of experience with this. I recommend a company that offers not only the best rates, it meets the government's requirements, and also their customer service is excellent. So just in case you need to, to file a claim, they are absolutely excellent. I will leave the link to this company in the description below this video. So just scroll down to the text box and you will see the link to this company. If you are vaccinated, obviously now is the time to, to be protected against potential financial loss, right? It's not expensive and they have excellent coverage. So it's always better to be uh, safe than sorry. All right, you guys, if you're new to my channel, check it out. I've been living in Costa Rica for over 16 years. I have a lot of videos on Costa Rica travel, Hindu gems, best hotels, best restaurants, but also Costa Rica living and, you know, traveling and working online. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Once I have any news to report on Costa Rica entry requirements, the vaccine mandate, what the response of the Costa Rica government is, I will upload a new video. I want to thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next one.
Tchau, vamos com Costa Rica. Pura vida.